Hello Scorpio! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Star Tarot by Kathy McLeland. On the top here is the website. Feel free to free fra freeze frame on that if you want the kathymcleland.com spelling, of course. Supportive Oracle Cards, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Um, on the book here, there's a couple websites. Hayhouse.com. Feel free to free fra freeze frame on any of that if you'd like it. On the back, there's also HayHouseRadio.com and a picture of Sandra, so feel free to freeze frame and get that website if you want it, of course. Okay. What do we have for Scorpio? My first impression is like things... Wheel. Yeah, the wheel. That's what it was. Things are all over the place. I don't know if I'm upset about it, but it, they are. Um, I don't know if I'm upset about it. Yeah, Scorpio kind of rolls with it, you know? I mean, you know. I have to tell you. No, I don't have to tell you. Obviously, I don't have to tell you. Um, <laughs> clearly, you know. Um, you know what you're doing. You do. Okay. In every life, a little bit of rain must fall. So, things are all over the place. I'm just going to preface this where I see it going and then we'll get into the details, but I feel like it's good. It's really good. Bam. And then really good again. Like we, it's like, it's like you're having a good time running along, doing what you need to do. And then you face plant like, oh, that really hurts. Then you pull yourself up, you, you bandage yourself up and you're like, well, I got things to do. And you just continue back enjoying life. Kind of like, I'm not going to let myself lay on the ground and just, I don't want to feel bad. I want to enjoy life. I'm going to go back to enjoying life. I clean things up. I got my bandages on. I'm fine. I'm going to go back to enjoying life. Um, this, you, I think, are going to be fine. I feel like I'm just prefacing this because I feel like it bothers me probably more than it bothers you because I see, like, it's a face plant. It hurts when it happens. But I also see your energy going, I'm not going to let this rule me. So let's get into the actual reading. I just wanted to, like, I don't want to, like, because I feel like when it happens, it happens fast. I don't want there to be a shock with it for some reason. <laughs> um... Something, something's been going well, and currently it's going to go really well. There's going to be a temporary backlash or a temporary, like, fall. Like, I, I already warned you of that, I know, but um, I just don't want to, like, build this up too high because I feel like right now it's really, really good. And I feel like what they're saying is, yes, live it and love it and use it to the fullest, um, don't, don't fear the future, not that you're going to, but I feel like you're putting a lot of effort in and you're going forward in a really good way. What you're doing is not wrong right now, but I feel like there's something I've been dealing with, something that's been a lot of stress on you, but you've been, you've been getting through it. You've been doing what you need to do. Um, it's kind of like, well, I tried to do this. That didn't work out. So let me try to change it and it didn't work out quite well. Let me do a little, let me change it again. Yeah, it's better, but maybe it could be better. Let me change it again. I keep working at it. I keep putting more and more effort into it. Um, you're very motivated, and you're trying to like put together a plan of success. This is one of those things where Scorpio stereotypically is a random sign. It tends to be random, kind of all over the place, but still very successful. This is like, there might be 50 things going on, but you succeed at all 50. It might be one of those. But this is also one of those things where you're looking at it at this moment like, all right, the way this is going, I don't like it. I want it to correct, and I want it to stay correct. Not only do I want it to go right now, I need it to go right now and from now on. I don't want it to backlash. I don't want it to slip backwards or backslide or whatever you want to call it. That's not an option. I don't want that. I don't even want the option of that. For that reason, I'm trying to go forward in a very predictable a very metered, a very one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, which might be boring the socks off of you in a not fun way, whatever that means. But um, it's kind of like, no, this needs to succeed. I don't, I don't, if I don't like it now, I could, I don't care. As long as it works out long run and it stays where it's supposed to stay, I'll not like it right now and I'll be happy to not like it. I'll be happy to not like, I'll be happy to not like it <laughs> because I, 
because I, I love the outcome. Even though I don't like how I'm doing it, I love the outcome. I will totally do it because what I'm getting in the end, if that's what I need to do, then that's what I need to do. Even though things are very random. It's like every now and then, it just doesn't go as planned, but still, I'm like, I put it back on plan. It's kind of like I'm doing one, two, three, one, two, three, and stuff goes, woof, way over here, like five. You're like, five isn't for me. Go on. One, two, three, one, two, three, twelve. You're like, nope, not for me. And one, two, three, one, two, three. It just keeps coming in from nowhere. And you're like, not today. Thank you. Can't do it. Nope. Um, the wheel is here. Right now, you're thriving. Thriving. I feel like what they're saying is when you face plant, most people would be defeated. Because it's, I know, I keep bringing it up. Like, there's good cards right here. Yeah, I know. Sun card, best card in the deck. The wheel going all over the place. Things are going a little left, a little right. But you're, you're going, you're bobbing, you're weaving, you're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it. Then, the face plant. And it's kind of like, the, the, uh, for a minute there, I feel like, oh, wow, did I do this all for nothing? Like, face plant, like, face plant, like, hard, pain, pain, face plant. Um, I'm going to say this again. A lot of other signs, this might do them in. But I feel like the reason you're not is because you got this, that strategy before, the, like, I feel like, nope, okay, nope, 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 this failure is not an option. I feel like I get this attitude myself sometimes. I didn't show up to fail. I, show, I, I didn't show up to fail. That's not why I'm here. I didn't come here to fail. So, time to get back up. How do you get back up? Like, is that quick? Because it feels like it's fairly quick, but I'm like, if you face plant, it takes a second to get your bearings, right? Three of fire and the magician. I feel like I'm upset that I fell. I, whatever happened, I'm like, this is not, no. I, back to the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm not just going to, I feel like I, I refuse to just sit here and feel the pain. I refuse. For whatever reason, like I didn't show up to fail. One, two, three, back right into it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, which is monotonous, especially for Scorpio. But you're like, I'm going to go right back into it. You return to that pattern. I made this strategy. I have this contract. I said I was going to do it, and it will work out. Again, I did not show up to fail. That is not why I came here. You got the Hierophant coming in. I think you had it in the dice at one point. Maybe not. Um, the Cornucopia coming in. You keep pushing forward. You get right back up there. You get right back up, and you're flourishing again. You're back in your power. Queen of Cups in the healing with the Healer of the Ages. Things go right back in. You don't let this, like the yin-yang comes in. It's like you're up high, then you're down low. You're like, well, I'm going back up high again because things are gonna things are gonna succeed. I refuse to let them fail. Um, I don't know how this sounds, but not all signs are able to do that. They're just not. Not all people are able to do that. Maybe that's how I should put it. Because if you're not a Scorpio and you're watching this, but this hits for you, you don't have to be a Scorpio for this to be valid. If you're just that person that does this, then you do this and you succeed. Um, not all people, not all people can do that. That's how I should be saying it. Because some people, you know, they get kicked hard enough and they just can't find the will to get up. They just can't. Which doesn't make them a good person, bad person, anything else. It just means they can't for whatever reason. But I feel like your energy, you're like, well, I'm getting back up. And that's just how it is. That's just the fiber you're made of. Um, and you're going to get right back up there and you're going to keep going and you're going to succeed. Whatever this is, you will succeed. Um... The only thing I can see as a partial drawback is kind of like, can't we just finish this? It will end. You got the lover's card at the end. That's success. That's a version of success that's passing the test, in my opinion. Um, you will succeed at some point. You will get your goal. You will win. Whatever your win is, whatever you've defined win as, it just it does feel every now and then like, why does this have to take my whole life? <laughs> I like that saying. I say it all the time. I'm like, really? Does this have to take my whole life? Like my whole life? Like my whole life. Does this have to take my whole life to get there? Because um, it's how a fight kind of feels. You will get to the other, the other end. It's just every now and then it's going to feel like, ugh. Which I would say, what I'm feeling is like, give yourself a break. Get yourself something nice. Make yourself a nice meal. Buy yourself a nice meal. Watch your favorite show. Do something good for you. Do something nice for you to get past this. 
like every now and then make sure you build in your own successes make sure you build in, build in your own rewards so that you're rewarding yourself I mean you don't have to wait for somebody else to reward you then this hanging out with somebody is a reward then like make sure that happens but um, keep rewarding yourself throughout this process whatever that means to you make sure you have adequate rewards for yourself to keep you motivated and keep you going which I feel like that's subjective. You know what you like, just make sure you add that in. Make sure you make a point, like put it on a schedule if you have to. When that reminder pops up on your phone, make sure like, oh, time to get pizza. Maybe you love pizza. Time to get ice cream, because I'm a foodie. Um, time to go and visit so-and-so. Time to go watch this show. Time to go watch this movie. What, whatever it is to make sure you keep enjoying yourself and you keep, in, you keep building in rewards so that you like it's not just like monotony 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 you have rewards set up reward here reward there to make sure you have something to look forward to but you're going to succeed i mean that's something that's a good thing right i think so all right i think we're there i'm gonna shut this down here i hope that helps thank you for watching if you'd like a direct reading from me shoot me an email james for astral at gmail.com that's james the number four astral at gmail.com if you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.